what are you, what are you making of Pennsylvania as you go from one side of the state to the other? What are you learning on this whole thing? Pennsylvanians know exactly what they want to do with their lives. They're sick and tired of the federal government in particular, and bureaucrats, you know, who are just sort of paper pushers making rules that they can't keep up with. They believe if the government gets out of their way, they're going to thrive. Every business I visit is lacking workers. If they get enough workers, they're going to go full throttle. Gas producers say, I can do unbelievably great things to provide security to our nation and help our allies in Europe. If I can just get through the bureaucracy, it doesn't help me. It's the facade of caring, but it doesn't really make a difference that benefits us. Let's talk about Ukraine. You're obviously from Turkey, so I imagine you're, you have a sense of the geopolitical international issue. What do you make there, and how would you as a center, senator, if you would be the senator, deal with that? Well, the senator has a lot to do with what's going on mm -hmm. in Ukraine, because it's very much uh, an evolution of what we messaged to Russia over the past year, which is we're not going to be strong. We're going to kowtow to woke ideas like shutting down energy production. We're not going to make the important and brave steps of making sure we're energy independent, both here and the Europeans have the same problems we have. When the Germans give up their nuclear power, when Europe starts importing all of its energy from Russia, Putin says, my goodness, I'm making a ton of money. I have these guys over the barrel by literally shutting off the barrels that they get from us. They shut the pipelines down at will. And I'm going to take the Ukraine. It looks pretty enticing, I'm just going to do it. And they know they can't be stopped. So what do you mean? What, should, what needs to be happening there? I would say we, as a nation, say from now on, when we say we need energy, we make energy. We don't let pipelines get stopped halfway down the construction pipeline because you know, a bunch of activists get upset about the possibility they might have an ecological impact, which, by the way, is almost impossible to defend against, so investors don't build the pipelines. The gas suppliers need to have infrastructure tools to be able to get the gas out of the ground. They need trained employees to be able to do that. You need to sort of get morale up in the industry or they're not going to produce for us. The gas under our feet right here in Pennsylvania can power our entire nation for hundreds of years. You know, second to Texas, we're the biggest out there and yet no one knows it. We're almost a hidden gem. And I think if we can actually wake up to that reality as a commonwealth, we'll own our destiny. Tell me, uh, one of the criticisms of you was that you were not from Pennsylvania. Are you finding that makes any difference as you go around the, the diners and all? Well, if that's the biggest criticism against me, I'm in good shape because uh, you know I grew up just south of Philly, less than 10 miles uh, from the mushroom capital of the world, Kennedy Square, which is in Pennsylvania. Went to med school and business school in Philadelphia. But listen, the reality is I've lived in other parts of the country, New Jersey in particular. I'm very proud that um, I'm a Pennsylvanian. And I think people in Pennsylvania and every one of the diner uh, customers today would probably attest to this. You know, they care much more about what I stand for than where I'm from. Um, the latest ad from Dave McCormick has you as a rhino, or not his group. What, what do you make of that? That you're really a Hollywood liberal, I believe is what they call you. Well, there are other people who made their name in television, you know, Ronald Reagan, Donald Trump. Uh, I learned to fight on the biggest stage there is to protect my viewers, and now I'll do the same for my voters. I went to battle with Big Pharma, Big Tech. Uh, you know, I went to battle with Fauci. I went to battle with the U.S. government over things they were doing wrong. I know what it takes to win. I know what the, what the narrative has to be and how you actually can say the words that mobilize people to feel like they control their destiny. That's what we need, a, a bold senator who can loudly proclaim what Pennsylvania needs in Washington. Last question. Uh, there's a ton of money being spent. There's some negative advertising, which is almost unheard of this early from a primary. What do you make of the race and the tone of the race, and what's the average Pennsylvanian to make of it? I think the average Pennsylvanian is trying to figure out what to make out of uh, politics in general. They don't even understand why the Republicans and Democrats are fighting, much less the Republicans amongst themselves. But this is a fight for the soul uh, of our nation. We have kowtowed to the Washington Wall Street revolving door too long. Um, there are elements in our society that just don't care about what people think in central Pennsylvania. And if you're in the Lancaster, Harrisburg area, you have little different uh, perspectives than you might have in, up in Erie or in Philadelphia. But we're all Pennsylvanians, and our views have to be reflected in Washington, and we want the best person to go there. So I'd rather work out the kinks here in the primary than have it figured out in the general election.